So I'm starting out again where I left off. Talked with this gentleman for probably 20 minutes, a half an hour. Real nice fella. He's got these cattle in here and he tore down those two modular homes that were just junk. He said he couldn't believe all the stuff he moved off of here. And he did it for the owner of the property in, in lieu of uh, like paying rent to have his cattle here. So, and the other well is down here. Maybe that's it over here. Um, and he said that from what he knew, he lives up the road here. A lot of the wells here are kind of low producers, but the guy over here in this house has a real heavy producer and there's another one over here that's like 60 gallons a minute. So you never know till you do a pump test, but it's probably as good as that other property on Boulder. Um, and there are two wells here. I'm not sure where the septics are, but yeah, this is this is the other. This one, he said for sure, the pump's gone and everything, because you can see it's just. In fact, it looks like an open pipe. Yep. Now you can see. There's water standing down there, not, you know, 10, 12 feet, so let's get some water in there anyway. And and this is where that other modular home was, which is back here in the corner quite a ways off the road. So if you've got a well there and power and everything, you might a person might want to locate back in here, although the other... I, I did a tentative measurement of that building. About two-thirds of it was about 50 feet long by uh, um, 30, 33, 32 feet wide. It has a cement floor, which makes it about, I don't know, whatever, 16, 1700 square feet. That didn't include the back part that has same continuation of the building, but it had a dirt floor. But I'll get, I'll get my tape and do an accurate measurement. Oh, and this fella, he's moving the cattle out of here on May 1st to a, um, what do you call it, to a permanent pasture. And that stuff that was laying around up there, that I said looked like Home Depot and all that, that's all his stuff. And he said he can have it out of here in less than a week. I might as well just turn this one off and uh, I'll do one over there inside the building and all that. You know, after I measure it. Yeah, he knows how many, he thinks, I think he said there's six or seven growers around here. You know, he's pretty savvy on, on all of it and kind of the rules and stuff, although he doesn't, he doesn't grow. But he did like the parcel. He said it's a good piece. He said it was a 20 over here a ways away that sold for like 140 or 50. He wasn't sure, but it didn't have water, you know, or any improvements. If that house down there has a great well, and this well is down there and there's a pond, and I dropped a rock in there, I mean, I could see the water 10 or 12 feet down. That's probably likelihood that's the better well than this one over here. If I was checking or using one. And that one's more off the beaten path too over there. Okay, well, I'll shut this down. I'll just do a 
360 here. There's the trees for that other house and the well beyond it. Pretty country though, it really is. I'm sure in the summertime you're going to get your share of warmth here because it's open, but I guess heat's good for certain growing. Okay, I shut this off now.